What's up, everyone? It's Stevie, and we're back in Bed Wars for, you guessed it, Season X or Season 10. This is the new lobby, dude. It looks so cool. So yeah, all new lobby. We also have five new kits. We're going to talk about those. I'm going to show you how they work, and we'll talk about whether they're good or not. Some of these kits are, uh, some of them are pretty good. I, I'd say most of them are really good, though. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. We also have a bunch of new items in the game. Balloons are back, depending on the game mode. So they have this whole new map system with, uh, it's kind of like these maps with power-ups and and the map voting is kind of part of that, so it's pretty cool. We're also going to talk about some other big changes, like the ability to purchase battle pass kits once the battle pass has gone away. Really big changes. Um, some of these changes are needing a little bit of tweaks before they can really settle in. Like, there's some stuff in here that's kind of ragey. Um, we're not getting enough emeralds, for example. I think that's a bug for uh, emerald splitting. But yeah, so let's go through these patch notes real quick, and I'll kind of explain most of those high level. So as you know, we got five new kits. Let me show you them real quick. So we have these five here. We got Agony, which is basically like a rocket jumper kind of you know kit and also has some cluster bombs that can create knockback um begzat is a basically a falcon type archer so this is kind of like a lila kit we got Hephaestus, Hephaestus, I think is his name. This one's the level 50 kit. We're going to talk about this one, but um, it's actually pretty good. So at first I was having a lot of issues during the live stream with this kit. And as I started reading more about it, I understand why they made it a level 50 because it's pretty good. Like it does crazy, crazy good damage if you know how to use it. And then we got Nyoka or Nyoka, who is a really cool melody style healing kit. It's kind of like a in between Lonnie versus Melody. And it's got a really cool like area of effect healing things. So we'll, we'll talk about that one. And we got Sticks, which is um, pretty cool. It's, a, it's essentially a portal type character that can really help with like ranked matches as well as just getting your you know team forward faster. So once this kit gets known a little bit more, I think a lot of people are going to be abusing this kit because it's actually pretty OP, especially for farming, especially for attacking. Now, a big change here also is Battle Pass kit exclusivity change though. Kits will now only be exclusive for two seasons and will be available for purchase after that time is up. But that means is future Battle Passes, okay? So, so it doesn't mean that you can go back to area and suddenly buy area. What they're saying is this one, this battle pass and future will not really be exclusive. So you can essentially after season, what would that be? It would be season 12. You'll be able to buy these kits again. So um, if they made this change for previous seasons, what it would have meant is season eight kits would have been available for purchase by now because last season plus this season. But that's not how what they're saying. They're saying future um, battle passes. I make this change with hoping that a lot of people are going to be able to, um, you know, play with the kits and and use the kits. I think, you know, honestly, they should probably do this for even retroactively just to keep things less confusing. Um, they also have this new map voting mechanic. I'm just going to show you that in a second. They also have team upgrades I'm going to show you. And they also brought Tesla coils back. So defenders are no longer in the shop. So let's go show you the map voting real quick. And then I'm going to show you how these kits work. All right. So this is the map voting system. And I'm just going to show you real quick the so each map has its own kind of like effect. So this one's all have negated fall damage. They basically rotate these out and these are randomized. So the map is random with the effect. So this map could have a different power up. Sometimes you get a glitched enchant table, for example. Sometimes you got double health, like 200 HP. There's all kinds of different effects you can get on these maps. And I'll, at some point, I'll try to go in through and do a showcase on all of these. If you'd like that, let me know in the comments below. It definitely can go and do that work. So yeah, that's pretty much the map voting system. It happens, you know, before each match. All right, so let me show you how these kits work. So this kit right here is called Agni, and it's pretty much like a rocket jumping type thing. And then you've got... Uh, uh, also some cluster bombs which do knock back randomly i say randomly because they're not consistent so before i show you this kit let me explain this new upgrade shop this would be considered the new tier one upgrade if you want to buy this it's six diamonds now to get tier one and then to get tier two it's now 18 diamonds which is pretty crazy i know it's a lot of diamonds so they did slow down a lot of the upgrades the games are going to go a lot longer i think as a result of this i've noticed that where you don't get geared as fast and then right here you have the emerald era which is 35 uh diamonds which is a lot of diamonds Diamonds. Now, um, you can see the production down here. Current gen production is 100%, which is basically tier zero. And you got tier one is basically 200%. Uh, tier two is going to be 260%. Plus you get the diamond drops. And then tier three is going to be three times as productive as tier zero. Um, but let me explain this part right here, because if you remember, they had the era system as well. So they basically they merged everything, right? And bed defense was like a little upgrade thing here. What they did was they merged everything together. First of all, you don't need to buy bed defense to be able to get the next era. All you need is six. So to get that, we just do that. And now we have 
have tier one generator. You can see it's going faster now. As a result of that, you can buy iron sword now. So you can't just go straight out the gate with an iron sword or iron, you know, chest plate or anything like that. Now, you also can't buy fireballs until you get this destruction one upgrade, which makes sense. I mean, you can't also buy TNT right out the gate. Well, I think a lot of this, a lot of people are mad about this, I'm sure. But uh, essentially, you need 12 diamonds now to be able to even get fireballs, dude. And then um, pearls are way harder to get now. Um, you can't even get the enchant table without getting the diamond. So I feel like some of these stats are kind of weird as far as like the cost of things. And then this is really, really expensive because you need a ton of diamonds to be able to unlock this gear. I think what they're trying to do is just slow it down this season. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it feels like that's what they're trying to do. Um, and then, you know, to be able to get all these, basically you need a ton of diamonds. Um, so now that you understand, hopefully the new upgrade system, let me show you how this kit works. First of all, you have this uh, rocket boost here with the R key. And I don't know if I'll be able to reach up there. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. So yeah, it's pretty nice. You can um, get pretty high with it. So if you don't have any blocks, you're not stuck stuck. I don't know why I didn't buy any blocks. Here we go. Bye-bye. So the rocket's pretty cool. The other thing that's really cool about it is it can do damage. Um, it doesn't look like it does damage to guardians for some reason, but it does do damage to players. It's not a lot. Let me show you that real quick. See, it does like uh, 12 damage, I believe. It doesn't really do burning, even though he had a burning effect on it. It's not really a burn. We also have this cluster bomb. Let me show you how this works real quick. So if you throw it directly at a player, it does a lot of damage. I'll show you it. So you get, you know, about 28 damage if you get a, you know, a direct shot. Actually, it's more if they don't have armor. But here we go. There's, uh, it does a little bit of knockback. It's not a great knockback. I have seen some people get like massive knockback off of these. It feels like they really reduced it. So just for fun, here's infinite. Just cause it's funny. <laughs> He's so dead. Also, you don't take damage from your own. So you can pretty much spam the ground. You're not going to take any damage from it. <laughs> so as you can see, we're not taking any damage. I think if they're jumping, they get a lot more knockback. But otherwise, it's not so good. All right, now we're going to show you Bekzat. This one's pretty cool. This kit looks really good. So with this kit, I keep forgetting that it's like Bekzat. Be Be yeah, Bekzat or something like that. You have these three different weapons you can choose from. So you got the Featherlight Bow. You've got the Featherlight Crossbow. And you also have the Featherlight Headhunter. These are pretty good on damage. They do a lot more damage than like a regular bow, crossbow, and headhunter. But just showing you real quick where these unlock. So the crossbow unlocks an Iron Era. And then the Emerald Era has the Featherlight Headhunter. Now, the Eagle ability is pretty quick on its cooldown it doesn't take long for it so i'll show you that there we go so now my eagle is going to chase him and um your eagle will only patrol a certain radius so what you need to do if you want to move around a lot you have to spawn it so i'll show you this is now it's in our spawn when you shoot an enemy your um, eagle will also attack you saw he just went down and killed hallucinated here it also attacks uh, guardians it's pretty funny so he keeps attacking them. So it's 18 damage with a regular bow. 15 damage. Here's crossbow. 34. Oh, he fell through the void. Um, 34 damage with the crossbow. Let me recall him. Send him over here. And my... Uh, looks like he's hidden. He's actually able to hit my uh, eagle. So yeah, 24 damage on that right now. And... After that, you got a little bit of a cooldown while your eagle's trying to heal. So the eagle doesn't really scale and damage, you know, at all. It's just, it's kind of helpful though. Like early game, the eagle's really nice. You can imagine like solos with this thing would be insane. So you can see the target. It's so helpful. You can see exactly where he's at. Yeah, I like this kid a lot. It's got some good damage. You can get your eagle out. So yeah, that's the burr kit, burr, 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 briz kit, whatever. Yeah, that, that kit. Brass cat, briz cat. Something, one of those things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Bexat. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. So the next one we have is Hephaestus, which uh, I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one's pretty crazy, dude. It's It's got like a little mech thing and a tiny guy. I'm not going to use the kit skin. I'm going to use my skin instead or my avatar. So as you can see, my character is really, really, really tiny. That's because, dude, that's the size of my character inside of the like mech. So this kit is really cool. Um, basically, you go around in a, <laughs> a mech. And you got to make sure your mech doesn't get destroyed or else you're going to be like this with a little wrench. Uh, kind of helpless. So you're real tiny. Imagine like a headless version of this, man. You'd be so small. <laughs> Dude, they're bullying me, man. All right. So this is the kit that I was telling you about. You're like in this basically like a mech robot. Now, 
If your shield gets depleted, you get knocked out of the robot. So you will be that little guy that I, you know, you saw inside the spectator mode um, or in spectator area. You'll be that small. So this kit is kind of buggy right now because the collision is a little weird. So for example, if I build upwards, um, you kind of fall off. Actually, it looks like they fixed it. They fixed it. Sweet. So before it used to like get stuck and suffocate. So I'm going to show you the basic version. Then we're going to go up to the iron upgrade. Then we'll go to the diamond and the emerald and then the void one, which is pretty cool. So let me head out and we'll do a little damage here. Now you'll notice uh, R is self repair. That is uh, essentially if you take damage here, you can hit R and it'll start healing your mech. That's kind of important. Now your actual avatar is not taking any damage yet. It's only if you uh, if you lose your mech. You don't get these destruction ability until uh, you reach diamond stage. So you can see, I just got killed by Jimbo here. Um, it's it's pretty hard to like do damage because you can't buy new swords or anything like that. You're pretty much stuck with the mech. So I'm gonna go and upgrade this. I'll show you what happens when your uh, mech gets destroyed right here. One more. There we go. See how your little dude is no longer inside the mech. You got to wait until he uh, has the cooldown to be able to recall. There we go. And then you get into your mech that way. All right. The next one we have is the diamond mech upgrade. This one has the unlocking of self-destruct ability. So let me go and buy that. There we go. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. Let me go show you the uh, self-destruct ability. So we're going to do a little, uh, you know, flying. We're in creative mode, just to be clear. So we're allowed to do this. All right, here we go. Boom! So the next upgraded version we have is 22 emeralds. It's not too bad. It's not 40 M's. So um, the void one is. All right, there we go. So this one's kind of crazy, man. The range on this is insane. The other thing that's kind of crazy about it is you got this, um, what they call a whirling, like a whirling death. Let me show you how much damage this thing does. 47 per hit. Now this is against unarmored, obviously, but the range on this is even crazier. We also have 340 shield this time, so we're even tankier than before. Probably still not tanky enough, but not bad. I mean, you're a big target, though, for bows. It's kind of hard for people to miss you. There we go. Just going to blow him up. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good, dude. Oh, that is so good, dude. It's like mega TNT. You don't really want to self-destruct unless you know you have an escape plan. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Let's go show you the next upgrade. So here is the void mech upgrade. It reduces incoming projectile damage and knockback. Um, When I tried the destruction or the self-destruction, it didn't really work. Just as a heads up. Oh, also they have now uh, for your max upgrade, you can select the enchant that you want. So say we want to do like this. We can apply and we got it. All right, here's the void explosion. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> now, of course, you're not going to be able to fly around like I'm doing. It's one of the perks of, you know, being the host. All right, let me just show you how much damage this thing does. Right there. 294 damage. Not bad. Still not enough to take him out. Dude, this thing does, like, damage over time, too. It's kind of like Caitlyn. This thing also has an ability called Whirling Death. Let me show you what it's like. It's pretty good. I'll, I'll do it on the Guardian so you can see the damage right here. 55 feels feels like it's more but i think it does aoe damage you also you can hit r to repair your uh, mech so if you're taking a lot of damage the only downside is your character is kind of slow and it's a big moving target so yeah this one's pretty cool i like it i don't know how well it's going to work out inside actual matches i'll have to do that separately in a different video but i just want to show you how these work for now next up let's go to the healing kit so the next kit we're going to talk about is nyoka or nyoka this one is a healing kit so let's go and use that i'm going to go and use the kit skin so you can check it out all right so with this kit you have a healing staff right this is the menin canopy one which means there's more staffs in here so the next staff is going to cost four emerald and then the third staff is going to cost i believe it's eight emeralds and this one has knockback and the other i can't remember i think it does uh overdrive um, or overcharge which i'll show you in a second all right so this is the normal one i'm going to show you the healing on this so there's a charge staff here and as soon as you charge you go into kind of a glide mode which is really nice so you can see i can kind of float and i'm healing them i'm getting healed as well at the same time 
until he dies. So I just got Canopy 2. The next one's going to be Canopy 3. Canopy 2 is supposedly has knockback. I don't really know about that. But let's see. I'm guessing it has extra knockback. Like, we're kind of invincible right now. And here's number three. So this one has, like, uh, essentially an overcharge staff, which doesn't drain. So you know how this drains right here? And then it charges up. If you use overcharge, it basically removes that. There we go. So you can see I'm still healing. And it does a larger range, it looks like. So you get this little glide too while you're healing, which is really nice. So you're not like stuck where everyone's hitting you. You kind of float around. Get a little out of reach. Are you healing your team? Probably one of the best healing kits I've ever seen. Like he's fully healed. As you can see, the power for the wand is going down. If it get, hits zero, then your wand effect is out and you need to restart it. Dude, it's pretty OP. I really like this kit. You just want to chill in a match and heal people. This is the way to go. If you're not like really into, you know, doing direct combat, maybe you're not very good at it. Maybe it could be a good support kit. Dude, I'm healing so fast. Like I'm invincible right now. This is OP. This is crazy, dude. And finally, we have sticks. This is a pretty cool kit. Uh, it basically creates a portal to enemies. So uh, I'll show you how this works. So this one's all about uh, portals. All right, with this kit, let me explain it. So we have this portal here, right? It's called a confluence portal. What you want to do is to be able to get around to other teams quickly, you're going to plant your portal down. So this kit's all about helping teammates get to other areas and getting them to places where they need to go quickly. So for example, mid um, or even an enemy base and how it works. I'm going to do it real quick, but we have this portal here. We're going to kill someone and then we're going to open up a portal at their base. There we go. Now my team can use the portal. So you see this is linked back to my base. And now we're at the enemy's base. And we can spawn camp them all day, dude. <laughs> oh no. Let me show you how this works. So we have a portal here. We can use it and we can teleport across the map. It does take a little while. And we're here. Now you can't go the opposite way. So unfortunately there's no way to do that. There's also some build restrictions that prevent you from trolling or griefing players. So if you're trying to like suffocate them and stuff, there's some issues there. So you can imagine this could be really helpful for like mid getting resources. It does expire after a little while, so you will need to refresh it with another body. Pretty sure this kid's going to be meta for ranked and such. So if you're trying to get to enemy bases quickly, typical rush, you know, patterns here, gank someone that maybe is near the diamonds or something and create a portal to it. And that way your team can go over there real quick. So yeah, I think that's going to be the method, but... We'll see. So that's the final kit, like I said. And honestly, I think for Nyoka, I think these two are going to be combined. Pretty good meta kits. I don't know about these. So as far as the update, a lot of people are asking me, DB, what do you think? Is the update good? Is the season good? Is it worth checking out? Is it worth playing? All that kind of stuff. And, you know, even just getting the battle pass. Of all things, most people want to know, is it worth buying? Well, out of all 10 seasons, here's my opinion, okay? So first of all, you got a lot of good kits in this one. It's kind of hard to choose them, but let me just show you again. I would say thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs up thumbs up and thumbs up for these three. So if you know, you like maybe three out of five that you really like, well, you know, it might be worth it. As far as the season itself, I think some of the mechanics are nice. Um, it is a little slow going currently for resources. Uh, 30 for 30s are not as fun as they used to be. And that's mainly because it takes like an eternity for you to get geared up. And if you have a good kit that does farming really well, then you're toast. Uh, your team's going to be way too behind and you're just not going to get anywhere. So yeah, it really, it's just like I said, it kind of depends on what you like, what's important to you. It's not a 10 out of 10, all right? So that's if that's what you're looking for, I would say maybe like a six or seven out of 10, about the same, a little bit better than last season. I, I do like like this better than season nine way better than season eight anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button hope it helped a little bit understand like what you know is going on with this update if you want to see more breakdowns of the different maps and the abilities and such let me know in the comments below and i'll probably make some videos dedicated to these kits later i just wanted to give you an overview of what each one did before i spent like two days three days just trying to figure out the kits a little bit further till next time happy grinding peace